face the consequences on the day of judgment you will stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone alone in some narrations the Prophet ﷺ said even a mother on the day of judgment will come to her son and she would say oh my son I held you in my warm nine months I looked after you I breastfed you and I stayed up all night just to look after you I wasted my life and my years just for you to grow up and become independent. And you became independent and successful. Now all what I want from you, that's on the day of judgment. My son, she, she, she tries to draw his heart nearer by mentioning everything she did for him. Then she says, oh my son, in exchange of all of this, all what I'm asking for is one hasana, one good deed, one reward. Just give me one reward from your records so I can be saved from the hellfire. I just can secure a position or a place in paradise. That's all what I'm asking of you. You know what? That son, with all his respect and love for his mother, he says, Mom, with all respect. I'm paraphrasing, by the way. The hasana you're asking for. I'm more in need of it than anyone else. Some other time, mom. Some other time. On that day, you will stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and you will be asked about every single decision. The woman passing down the street that you looked at and you kept staring at will be brought to you live. You could see it. The moment you were alone and did something wrong, the moment you took some haram money that doesn't belong to you. The moment you dealt with riba, the moment you were backbiting some, some, someone or slandering someone, that moment, just before that moment, you had the ability to make a decision, either to engage in a sin or give it up and leave it. But you made the wrong decision and it will come to you that moment. It will be placed and it will be manifested in front of your eyes. When you're standing before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and He will ask you about it. The moment the Adhan was called, you know it's time for the prayer. And you didn't pray because you were engaged, you were engaged with something else. Anything, any of these, these worldly matters, it will be brought to you and you will regret the decisions you made. When you listen to the whispers of shaitan, when you listen to the advice and the social evidence of your friends, of your family, of your culture, and you just flew with the tide, that moment will be brought to you and you will be asked about it and you will feel so much pain about it. The first moment of pain you'll start to feel is the moment the angels come to you and start dragging your soul out of your body. <laughs>